Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Galaxy Opal, Scotty Pippen. So, obviously, Scotty was the level 40 reward in season one, and his pink diamond was one of the best cards in the game for a couple months. And I think this Galaxy Opal has the potential to be a top two shooting guard in my team as well, as well as the best non primary ball handler shooting guard in my team, which means he might fit perfectly next to a guy like James Harden. But before we hop on the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 10,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day and I would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Also, huge shout out to my boy Phantasma for letting me hop on his account to record this gameplay in addition to the other two Opal gameplays that y'all saw earlier. He got lucky enough to pull all three and really do appreciate him letting me use his account. But without further ado, let's hop right into it. Let's see what Scotty Pippen is looking like. So, Scotty is six foot eight at shooting guard or small forward, which is really, really good size, especially for a shooting guard. He's 96 offense, 99 defense, coming with a 90 driving layup, 90 midi, 92 three ball, 95 driving dunk, 86 ball handle, 87 block, 98 steal and perimeter, which is ridiculous, and then a 91 interior. Solid rebounder, 94 speed and excel, and a 98 lateral quickness. Now, badge wise, 15 hoffs include bully, fast twitch, fearless finisher, limitless takeoff, posterizer, catch and shoot corner specialist, clamp breaker, quick first step. Anchor, Challenger, Clamps, Glove, Menace, Pick Dodger. So really, really good all around Hall of Fame badges for Scotty Pippen. Big fan of all the ones that he does have. In addition, gold badges include badges like Agent 3, Blinders, Claymore, Limitless Range, Slippery Off Ball, Bailout, Break Starter, Handles for Days, Killer Combos, Unpluckable Ankle Braces, Chase Down Artist, Interceptor, Off Ball Pest, Post Lockdown, Pogo Stick, and Workhorse, as well as Silver Pro Touch and Vice Grip and Bronze Post Playmaker. All of his badges are upgradable, which is also very, very nice. So keep that in mind. You can upgrade whatever badges to Hoff that you would like on the card and then you can add whatever badges you'd like to add to him as well although he comes with most of the key ones i'd go rise up amped dead eye guard up um rebound chaser brick wall probably those six would be the main ones i'd add or that might be five but those are the main hall of fame badges that i would add on scotty pippen to make him as complete as possible now with that being said it's important to check out his animations i think his animations are decent although i don't think his sigs are insane so he's not going to be this a great shot creator but if you put him next to a guy like harden who is he's going to be the perfect defensive two guard to be an elite lock and size up wise is pretty good he's got the mj dribble style so he's got a little bit of shot creation ability he's also got the same scotty pippen release on quick so it's really really good it's that same release that he had earlier in this year that was on normal now it's on quick so it's even better and it's very very smooth super easy to green one of the better catch and shoot releases in the game as well just one of the more consistent ba bases in my team it's probably not quite as fast as a kyle kuzma base or o-shape or set base but it's still really really quick and it is super easy to green obviously like i said he's not going to be the greatest playmaker in the world because his sigs aren't like next level elite but they are pretty good i think he's going to be very very good in my team even without like insane six he's gonna be a super solid secondary playmaker an elite lock one of the best locks in the game uh he's got the stuff behind the back as well so that's pretty solid i mean there's a lot to like about scotty pippen for sure in terms of shot making ability defensive ability and then playmaking ability as well also has hoff limitless takeoff and post riser so he's got that elite slashing ability as well so a lot to like about scotty pippen there's no doubt about that think he is going to be a top two shooting guard and probably the perfect shooting guard to put next to a guy like james harden or another shot creating point guard in my team so without further ado let's hop into a game and let's see what scotty pippen can do Going up against, oh man, this this matchup is not fair. I feel bad for my opponent. This is not a fair matchup at all. He's got a bunch of like season three reward players and the Diamond LeBron. So this is not a team that is really set up to compete against my team. I'll be completely honest. We don't even have a freelance on. I don't think we're going to need it to be completely honest because I don't know if this dude's going to be getting any stops or buckets on this game, especially buckets. He might get a couple stops, but he's not going to get any buckets, but you're not going to get stops. But that's the defense you play. Matador defense right there. Just not putting a hand up, giving Scotty Pippen a wide open three off the drag back and he knocks it down immediately. Y'all know this, Scotty Pippen, one of the best releases in the game in terms of consistent catch and shoot off the dribble, all that stuff. And it's probably a release that a lot of us have used a ton as well, which is really, really nice. Sometimes familiar familiarity is a very valuable thing. And Scotty Pippen is going to give us more of that than really any, most any other cards are going to, because I'm sure just like me, a lot of y'all use that pink diamond Scotty Pippen a ton. Now, I will say, by the way, if I was a little bit out of breath to start off the video, I do apologize. Uh, I just helped my dad move some stuff in. I was helping him pick some things up and stuff. So helping him out. So that's why I'm may have been a little bit out of breath there but i do apologize we are back to our normal self here have our breath fully and all that stuff now let's push the ball up to scotty let's drag back chill let's attack the middle go back to the left i want to shoot this i'm just going to shoot it why not i don't think scott uh, yeah stockton's not getting contest on him man you got to click on to put your finger up that release is too smooth too quick and too easy to grain you just got to be able to put a hand up there and he doesn't do that and that's an easy bucket there for scotty pippen who now has a quick um how many points does he have already look at the defense as well he's got a quick uh six points 
points and an assist. He's playing elite defense. I'm loving what I'm seeing out of Scotty so far. Obviously, our opponent does not have the best team by any means. Good defense right there by Braun. Can we just finish it off with a stop, though? Get a hand up. He so bad for this man he just he doesn't know what he's doing it's, it's just not a close comparison we got a way better team we're the better player it's, it's just not fair right now scotty with the pull up three. Oh, we got a little bit of a load up his release really slowed down a little bit there hit it back out to scotty though let's get shot creating with him again let's go this way does he have the normal fade no he oh he does they added normal fade on scotty okay i didn't check that in freestyle he didn't have that on his base card but now he's got normal fade he's a dog let's hop into another game and keep it going our second opponent has D-Rose, Donovan Mitchell, Kawhi, Tim Thomas, and Kareem. So a better team, but still kind of small. I got to say, Donovan Mitchell does not quite have the size that you'd like to see on Scottie Pippen for him anyway. For me, I don't mind because obviously I got the size advantage right there, and I think we got the team advantage as well. So that's going to help us out for sure. I could just go to the rim here with Ben and probably go up. Ben is such a mismatch against guys like Derrick Rose, but we're not going to. We're going to go to the rim with Scottie Pippen instead. Look at the lay. Okay, Scottie Pippen putting it in, and we got ourselves an easy bucket to start off the game. Uh, I would, would like to see a dunk there, but I guess the layup, I mean, it looks cool right there. That was a cool looking layup for sure. Not the shot. I don't know. These dudes' shot selections that I'm playing today are not great. I got to say, uh, pushing the ball up, Scotty, stop and pop. He's not putting a hand up. You got to put a hand up on Scotty Pippen, man. He's just too easy to grain with. That's another knockdown three, and that's another quick five to nothing lead. Definitely not the start my opponent probably wanted, I got to say. Uh, but good defense again. Play the corner. Good. Go straight up. Okay. Hey, good bucket. We'll live with it. Um, I thought I was going to get a contest there with Ben or something, but it wasn't meant to be that possession. That's all right. Um, let's keep it going. though. He's in a half court press, which is kind of weird, um, but let's see if we can just get by Donovan Mitchell. All right. I might have been able to clamp breaker here, to be completely honest, but we're going to try to get a stand dunk instead. Scotty, go up strong. Oh my gosh, that went in. <laughs> Good defense by Kareem. I have no idea how that shot goes there. That's not a good take. I don't. I should not get rewarded with a bucket on that possession, but we'll take it regardless. He's three of three from the field so far, finishing at the rim strong over Kareem. While that's not a good take, I do admit it did wind up getting a bucket there, and that would have been a steal as well. There's no way he scores here. All right, cool. Shot clock violation. He was throwing it right at Chet's face, and luckily for him, it got tipped, but I guess it doesn't matter because he didn't score anyway. Just prevents us from getting out in transition, I guess, but let's get a pick and pop here going with Scotty. Let's have him set the screen, um, Let's and we're actually going to have him roll because I didn't put pop so stop anyway though scotty from the catch and shoot i just forced that shot so badly that was a terrible selection but ooh, i thought he was gonna throw it to d rose oh he's gonna turn it over anyway this dude these dudes man that i'm playing today i kind of feel bad for him because it's just not fair matches but i guess he got an out of bounds there so not that far out of the game he's not that far out of the game so far all right, Scotty's got all nine for us so far. Let's see if we can keep it going with him. Blow by all the way to the rim. Scotty Pippen, yes, sir. Easy save dunk there. Gets to the rim and throws it down. He's pretty quick in transition. 94 speed is definitely very solid, and we get ourselves easily to the rim there to take an 11 to 4 lead. This game is, I mean, like I said earlier, not that far out of the question right now, but it's definitely not the most competitive game in the world. That was not a good take on Yao either. He was just forcing that one up. Uh, pushing the ball up in transition. Behind the back, Chet. Hit it over to Scotty. I'm catching and shooting because Donald Mitchell's a little boy, and that's an easy green light. He doesn't even get a test that's another easy bucket for scotty and he's got locked take we got close enough where we could activate takeover ourselves so that's super nice get up on him scotty let's play some d baby yep go oh come on scotty oh he recovered perfectly though and he still greens a 15 a good shot i'll give it to you if you green that type of shot you get you deserve props props to you man so ben blowing right by ben all the way hit it out to scotty scotty catch i could have shot that one again to be completely honest we're gonna normal fade in the corner why not he's not gonna put a hand up i'm green in normal fades like it's nobody's business on playstation today this is different for me i typically don't knock these down like that but scotty's been hooping in both of these games all 16 of our points in this one as well which is just so impressive he is such a solid card for sure really really impressed with him let's get one more bucket though with him real quickly and then we'll call it a game because we've seen two very impressive performances by scotty in these two games blowing right by ben simmons to the rim again i could go up with that if i wanted to but i don't want to i want to attack the rim and i want scotty pippen to go get a dunk or we're going to draw a foul and we're going to check out his free throw as well because that's one thing we haven't seen so far free throw release is the same that is uh level 40 had which i haven't used in a while but it's very smooth easy to green we knock down both and i'm going to call the gameplay right there i didn't actually green the second one but 18 points in the second game for scotty pippen he was dominant in both games we played very impressed by the card let's hop back to the main menu and let's review scotty pippen all right in conclusion scotty pippen one of the best shooting guards in my team no doubt about that i would still say vince is better because vince's release even though scotty's is incredible is just as good if not better he is a better shot creator so i think he fits better next to a guy like ben simmons i don't think uh phantasma has vince um he does not it doesn't look like so no vince on his account but the ideal lineup right now in my opinion is ben and vince starting and then pippen with harden off the bench because harden can be your primary playmaker scotty can be more of a catch and shoot secondary playmaker and 
slasher and then an elite defender as well. So I think Scottie Pippen, second best shooting guard in the game, definitely has a spot in all God squads though. And I do think he's an absolutely incredible card in my team. So that is gonna do it for this video. Hopefully y'all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.